Yep. I was actually going to stream me doing the new cross battle. I thought there was going to be more than just the gondola. I thought there was going to be like a few different cross battles, but it was only the gondola. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to try it because I probably can't beat it on my first try, right? I was wrong. I could beat it on my first try. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you go over here to explore tab and you go over to the giant boss, as you see right here, cross battle B. Now this is against the gondola. As you can see here, the plant boss, you guys may know him, may not. This is the plant boss that you actually need to kill in order to get awoken fin and like a bunch of other fragments to awaken you know, other units and all that type of stuff and the cross battle variant of this giant boss is actually pretty similar with a few different changes if you know what that giant boss does then you pretty much know what this giant boss is going to do the main difference in this one compared to that one is that there is now physical resistance so physical attackers aren't really the greatest here this one also has drain water so any type of water damage you deal by equipment or by a unit the giant boss is going to take that and just suck up that damage before we get any further in the video let me say this if you're not subscribed yet you should subscribe to the channel 40 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel and it only takes two seconds because hey if you subscribe you don't have to keep typing in my name on the search bar 24 7 to try to watch my video it just pops up in your sub box so hey man why not save yourself some time and click that subscribe button now let me explain how we're going to be countering this boss, okay? First and foremost, let's talk about what this boss is going to be doing. I touched on it a little bit, but let's touch on it some more. This boss, poison, all right? We got to deal with that. Physical resistance. Every day I wake up! We also need to make sure that we're able to burn the boss because we cannot deal damage to the boss unless we are burning him and also if we are able to crit him. And I think in the second phase of this fight, he also has demon killer, so we need to be wary of that. So how are we gonna counter? Check me out, check me out. I'm gonna make it real simple. You can do other comps, sure. I'm not saying this is the best comp, but this is what got me through it. Burn unit slash damage dealer. Benimaru, Grand Brave fantastic people for this even if the boss has physical resistance grand break can burn the brakes off this boss number two archgen slash healer i really like mako for this but there's a ton of other options lisa really good a serpa fantastic priestess amazing number three your main damage dealer more than likely gonna be Burwick, but guess what? There's someone else that just came out that's also fantastic for this, which has failed. Just make sure whatever you pick for this, they're a magic damage dealer and they're able to crit. And then finally, for the last unit, it's gonna be a tank. You can go with either Sandstone or Gerald. Pick your poison. Now you may be like, what about equips? Use your brain. We dealing with poison here. Bring some cleanse. Bring some poison resist. For damage mitigation items, bring something that just gives you physical damage resist, earth damage resist, or just regular old damage resist. For everything else, Art gen, equipment CT, the usual stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, you guys have been through the ringer enough times already. And that's pretty much it. Now, on to the gameplay. Also, real quick, before we go into this, because I don't know if I mentioned it yet, the second phase of this fight will nuke you. And the second phase of this fight has demon killers. So Burwick, a little bit scary for him a little bit scared just make sure whenever you go into it if you're using gerald or sandstone to have a barrier popped if you're using gerald and if you're using sandstone just make sure you have your damage mitigation items up and you should be perfectly fine so you guys ready to turtle through this because that's what we're gonna do baby so in the beginning of this fight it's pretty simple just make sure all your equips are going if you're having art gen equips you know just make sure you're using them pop some damage mitigation if you need it i'm actually gonna put up two damage mitigation items on sandstone just because sandstone has the equipment ct down because of a true weapon and if this guy goes to art you if you want to be really Really careful just pop sandstone's art and you should be perfectly fine but if you're able to get to her true art make sure you have the true art up just because it's going to be enough damage resist to survive it is hey, going to use his art it's going to deal some damage mako's going to get kind of low but it's perfectly fine like this guy's not a complete walk in the park but he's not like the hardest fight we ever got on global as you see here you know we're already about like 75 percent of the way there really not worrying whatsoever we're just going to pop berwick's art here just to try to get sandstone's true art up as soon as possible we're going to pop Mako's normal art here just to deal as much damage as possible with the boy Berwick. And we're going to pop his normal art there to get Mako her art gauge back. You, you kind of see what it is. It's really not too bad whatsoever. If you're using Benimaru, like this is over like so freaking quick, by the way. As you see here, the poison's there. We just pop Keratos and we're perfectly fine now. Now we are getting this man quite low. We actually probably can like just burst him down really quickly. But I will say something. I'm actually going to try to do it right here. Is that you want to make sure if you're using Sandstone and using Berwick specifically or Benimaru. Because I think Benimaru is also classified as a demon. You need to be careful because in the final fight against this guy in the second phase. Because there's two phases. You have stage one against this gondola and you have another stage. You 
need to make sure you have enough damage mitigation items to deal with his second phase. So me personally, you see all my damage mitigation items are down. I'm actually purposely going to wait and not kill this guy instantly right now because I actually can with Burwick because I want to make sure that I have all my damage mitigation items up because if I don't, then my Burwick's going to die. Because the second part of this fight or stage two does have Demon Killer. And really, it only matters in the very beginning whenever the boss does the huge nuke as soon as you enter the arena. And we're going to finish this off real quick with the boy Burwick. We're just going to use his true art, get the damage off, and we should be perfectly fine heading into this next fight. We have two damage mitigation items plus Sandstone's true art up. If we have to, we'll also use Sandstone's uh, normal art as well. We're going to pop both of them right here, bop, bop, and we're going to pop her normal art too. And Burwick should be fine. As you saw, perfect. Absolutely executed beautifully. Berwick did not take a single ounce of damage. Just making sure there's some damage mitigation on him. As you saw, Berwick did lose his Magia Drive, which is quite unfortunate. We do have his damage mitigation back up. We're going to actually pop that. And you see Berwick has taken some damage. But we shouldn't have to worry because we do have True Exceed Zex, which is going to give us all the lifesteal that we need if Berwick ever gets too low on HP. We're going to pop his art here just to give everybody some art gauge on top of what Mako is already giving everyone. If you have to, if you're using Sandstone and the boss is going to art, just make sure... You have the damage mitigation on him. As you see, the poison's coming through. Doesn't even matter. In this fight specifically, whenever you're using Burwick, I really like to alternate between his true art and his art just to give the team a little bit more art gauge in this final fight because this guy isn't nowhere near as hard as the other one, in my opinion. As you see here, Burwick's just going to deal the damage that he's going to deal. You know, deal tons and tons of DPS like he always does. Pop Grand Brave's true art. We're pretty much at the end of it right now. We're actually going to pop this as well just to go on ahead and kill him and look at that easy peasy. 5 minutes and 32 seconds. You could do it a lot faster if you're using Bitty Maru. And congratulations, you beat it. What'd you get? Absolutely nothing. So yeah guys, that'll be it for the video. Thank you all for coming out, man. It's been your boy Peter. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more. And last but not least, man, you guys already know, don't forget to drink water.